What is up guys, it's Tyler here, and today we're going to be in another trout slash DIY kokanee rig setup. And right now, I have something, something to cut line with. Six pound stren, really, really um, suggest using this instead of like a P-line or a fluoro because that stuff will tend to kind of kink on you when you do your knots and when you do your small knots. And then you're going to need a hook of any of any kind. I'm using a number four. That just seems to be about right. And then I'm using a little crappie grub, um, hollow grub. And, and what I did, I did, I did this off camera. And what I did was I'll show you here. Um, I did kind of a slit in the top. And then I put a bead in the top so that I could put my line through. And then as we get into this, I'm going to show you another little tip that makes this bait a whole lot better. And then I have my one multicolored bead and then another green bead right over here. And then for this, you're gonna need about, I don't know, an arm length of line, about an arm length. That looks about right. <clears throat> and what we're going to do here is you wanna put your line through your grub first. Actually, before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to put your multicolor or some type of bead up in front of that grub. And just like so. You're gonna slide that up your line. And then you're gonna wanna put this through right, right through your grub, of the head of your grub, or whatever you're using, tube or whatever. Write that up, slide that tube right up. And then you're gonna wanna put on another bead. And this is very important because that bead will slide up into that skirt and it'll act like a little stopper for your hook so your hook doesn't go straight up into your tube of your of your crappie jig, or now since we're making like a trout one, since your trout rig set up. So that, what's, that, what's that gonna do is that other bead right here is gonna slide up, and you're gonna have to like, kinda wanna split the little skirt things or the little legs apart so that bead will fit up right up, in, right up in there. And this is probably the hardest part. Oh, geez. Probably the hardest part of the whole entire thing is to get that bead in there nice and good. Just like so, and that looks about good. You know, it, it's not gonna be perfect, but but once we get that hook on there, then the hook will help it out. And then we're gonna do just a normal uh, clinch knot. You can do the improved one if you want. For today's video, I'm just gonna do the normal normal clinch knot. And I'll kinda, and I'll kinda show you how to do it here, guys. Um, so, you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna get your two well, first of all, you're gonna wanna put your line through your hook, and then you're gonna wanna grab it like this, the two ends, and then you're gonna wanna twist this hook about, I don't know, six or seven times. And what it'll do, what it'll wanna do is, on that circle of the hook, it'll wanna like, grab on to the end of the hook, kind of, and that's not great, because then it kinda messes up your knot, and yeah, you don't want that to happen. Like, it's kinda giving it to me. All right, there we go, so there we go. now it's out. And then right now we're gonna pinch it in so it doesn't fall over that eye of that hook. We're gonna put this through. And then that's what you have right there as you put it through that hole. And then you're gonna want to put a little bit of saliva on there so it slides easier. Just like so. Oh, there it is, just slid, just, just perfect. Then you're gonna wanna clip that tag end you want to leave a little bit of room, but not too much, because if you leave too much, then the fish will see it. But if you but you want to leave a little bit, just in case of slippage. And then you're gonna to wanna. To, then here's your grub that we made, and then you're gonna to wanna to slide that grub all the way down down to your hook, and it's kind of the grub's kind of falling out here. And sometimes if you want to kind of get the bead down, once you get your line through, you kind of want your bead down kind of as far as you can into that grub, just like so. Then you're going to want to slide that down, down to your hook. And that's about it. There you have it. Nice little grub. And really, see those, the bead that I have right in front of that hook, if you guys can see it, the, the little green bead. Um, You can put as many as you want. Um... Just, you know, it's just wherever you want your hooks. If you put, like, three, then your hook's going to be kind of back, more back here. And, you know, that's just going to be perfect. And then your trailer bead right up here in front. You can have this or you can't. I just kind of have it just for, like, another, like, a little protection, more support for your uh, grub or tube, crappie tube, whatever you're, you're, you want to use. 
And yeah, that's really just about it. If you guys like the video, please share it, subscribe, and yeah, that's really about it. If you guys liked it, yep, just, you know, do all that good stuff, and that's about it. Well, see you later, guys. I'm out.